Two strangers meet in a phone booth. No one bothers to make a call. Instead, they connect with each other. For the last year, romantic silhouettes like these have been popping up all over town. One piece I was just kept on redoing and redoing, and I had like three copies of it. And it just came across that maybe I should just put it up there. Although the man behind the brush wishes to stay anonymous, he's ready to share his story. It all started after a breakup with an ex-girlfriend. The first series were actually weren't even paintings, they were just signs trying to win her back. And then it moved into a series of paintings of missing her, and then a series of paintings of dreams and memories I would love to create with someone. Art is a method of therapy for him, an outlet to heal. A beginning that started from loss has now seemingly turned into a positive, not just for the artist, but for the city. First I thought it was just for Valentine's Day or something, and then I realized that they had been up for far past that, <laughs> and they've stayed. So I mean, I, I, I thought they were nice, and I guess it's uh, kind of a happy thing. It's a nice way to give the city some oomph, I guess, or uh, just something to brighten your day, make you smile when you're not expecting it, because it's just kind of hidden. It's really interesting, you know, hearing people, reading things online, and just how happy it makes people to make you feel special. The artist uses symbolism in each piece, whether that be one of a personal reference or a broader message. As the pieces have developed, um, because they are based off something sad, I always started putting a black heart into it. Um, and that always represents the loss within the happiness. And generally, all my pieces now have 11 hearts. And the 11th heart is always a black heart. And or it's falling off the tree, or it's away from everything else. Because there was meaning behind the number 11. The artist tries to place his works in high traffic public places. The works are not made to be permanent, and lots have already been removed, then somehow pop up again. The artist stumbled upon one of his paintings over a Facebook post of a photography shoot. He installs the art during the wee hours of the morning to help keep his identity hidden. I got to tag along at 4 a.m. to watch the install of his latest interactive piece, a board game of snakes and ladders, the love version. Oh, you have to go up! It starts off easy, but the closer you get to love, the harder winning the game becomes, just like relationships. You work through the challenges of you know, rolling the dice, and sometimes it's just luck. I think it's always just luck. If you work through it, eventually you will win. I think uh, you'll find the love or happiness you're looking for at the end. The artist hopes the community will find happiness through his art. So next time when you're driving around town, take a moment and look around at the very heartfelt artwork. For Go on Shaw TV, I'm Rayanne the Plant.